Welcome back to the channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss an update. So on May 3rd, you guys, um, I did a video uh, giving you just some updates on the trial or this case with Tim, Terica, Travell, and Wally Yogman. Um, so on May 3rd, they did uh, go to court and Tim's attorney filed an extension for evidentiary motion and pretrial motions on May 3rd. Surprisingly, the judge granted the 60-day extension. Um, so what that means is that he has until July 2nd to file any initial challenges to the indictment, and then the government has until July 16th to respond. So basically, Tim's attorneys are trying to... Uh, bide some time here uh, before the evidentiary hearing. Um, typically, um, the prosecution will present witness testimony and other evidence at an evidentiary preliminary hearing. Um, what happens is the defendant doesn't have an opportunity to prove his innocence at this particular hearing. That comes later in trial if he's held over and the case against him is not dismissed. Um, so therefore, presenting witnesses at this stage serves no real purpose for the defendant. Um, it would only prematurely expose aspects of the defense that um, he will later present. The defense can cross-examine state witnesses. However, though, in an effort to prove the prosecutor has not met his burden to establish the defendant likely committed the crime. So overall, a response is due to the court by July 2nd for the initial indictment and by August 31st for the criminal pretrial motion. Uh, surprisingly, well not surprisingly, Terica's attorney has also filed a request that the court extend the pretrial motion deadline regarding motions to challenge or dismiss the indictment for another 60 days. Um, they believe her request is in the interest of justice and that her need for the additional time outweighs her interest and the public's interest for a speedy trial. Wally Yognum's attorney also followed suit and filed an extension and said that his purpose of filing is not to delay the pretrial, but it is in the interest of justice to file for an extension of time to prepare for the case. So as you remember, uh, Wally is the former music producer um, who is charged with conspiracy um, and filing the uh, false documents for the life insurance policy. Travell's attorney also requested an extension on the same grounds as Tim's attorney. And uh, that was which was the discovery of this case is very large with all of the evidence that's coming in. And the government has indicated also that there is more discovery of evidence that is still forthcoming. So uh, his attorneys also feel like they need an additional time to uh, review the additional evidence that is still coming in. So you guys, let me know what you think. Uh, do you think their attorneys are just delaying this pretrial because they're trying to find a way to put reasonable doubt into the minds of the jurors? Uh, prosecutors confirmed a few months back. Uh, of course, if you all remember, they said they will not be seeking the death penalty in this case against Tim, Terica, and Travell. Um, but if you remember, Travell was the last person who was charged in this conspiracy. Now, I can only imagine with all these um, delays, uh, delays that keep occurring, I can only imagine how Andre's mother and the rest of his family feels. Um, I'm sure that they want to get this trial started so that they can get justice for Andre. Um, although a conviction does not bring Andre back, but it will bring some type of closure to this ongoing pre-trial delay saga. Uh, let me know what you all think in the comments below. Um, either way, it seems that this pre-trial should get underway sometime this fall. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you never miss an update regarding this case. As always, thank you all for watching and until we meet again, I will see you all in the next video.